G'day, Tonya Reeves, Australia's Psychic Cowgirl, coming at you from Sunday Creek here in country Victoria, Australia. So really wrapped to do another show. Thank you for listening. Thank you all for those that have called in for readings. Most of us now are doing readings online. So yeah, this is a great format because we're pretty much doing exactly the same. Uh, I had a great response last week to my show with um, you know, one of the callers, which is really great, who reached out and um, after the loss of her daughter. And that was really special to be able to help her out and to get clarification around the information that I gave her. So I felt really blessed about that. So I hope everyone's doing okay. You know, this social isolation thing is, uh, you know, it creates quite an impact and I'm not going to go on about the, the situation because we want to feed into some positive stuff and just, you know, look at the inner work we can do during this time of lockdown. So, or not lockdown, isolation, isn't it really? So, yeah, what I'm shown and what Spirit's given me a lot over the last week is that this is a great time for self-reflection. It's a great time to identify what areas of your life aren't working and what you're going to do about changing it. Uh, because it's like the old saying, you know, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again. This is Tony, my my psych um, partner in the show that we do this morning. And, you know, he was saying, you know, insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. We are now brought back to focus on self. We are now able to have time for many of us to focus on self. So what is it you want to work through? What blockages are you finding are happening in your life right now or, or have been this year? You know, because we all have blockages. We all have peaks and troughs throughout our life where sometimes things are easy and sometimes they're a bit harder. So with, with this being, you know, more, more or less the world's been stopped as we speak. So now's the time to utilise what time we have and do the work and really dig a bit deep into our own personal healing. A lot of people collectively, you know, we're bringing together a healing of, uh, you know, it, it's worldwide at the moment and it's really amazing how we're all being shown this sign to collectively work together to create healing. And to me, my response with everything that's going on at the moment is we need to look at ourselves, we need to do as much healing as we can personally because that is a reflection of what the world is currently dealing with with us all being able to dig a bit deeper, work on any blockages we have, we're then able to heal ourselves, which in turn heals the rest of the world as well. So I think as a collective, you know, if you can focus on those things that help you get back to doing what you love, what you're passionate about, spend this time in doing things maybe you've always wanted to do, but just haven't you know, had the opportunity and, and now there is the opportunity. I mean, every kind of education is now available to us online and it's it's just sitting there now ready for us to, to step up. So if you want to change careers, uh, met for many that have been pulled back in their, their businesses and made to stop, there's going to be a real recalibration on which way you're going. Do you really want to stay in business? Do you want to change? Would you like to be able to embrace this and, you know, um, have a new concept within your business? I think it's also shown us how we need to not put all our eggs in one basket and actually spread things around so that we can then, we can then you know, um, diversify. So when things happen, if we have a few different streams of income or things that we do, if one dies off, then the other one might build up. So to me... Side hustles are going to be great for those of you that maybe have stopped work. What is it you've always wanted to do? What do you want to learn? What really, you know, if you were to strip back everything and say, no, regardless of situation or money or anything, what is it that you would really love to do that maybe you haven't had the opportunity to do yet? Google it. Google the courses to do with it and check it right out and go, you know what? This is about self. This is about really connecting with your inner guidance and saying what feels good for me because that's what's important here. And at the end of the day, we can't rely on others or anything external to give that to us. We have to give that to ourselves. So please take time to give yourself a gift of honouring who you are. And I think that's a really powerful message for today. So 
yeah, I'll leave you with that and I hope that resonates. Often when Spirit give me these messages, they do. They'll resonate with a few of you listening and watching this, whether it's watching it live or watching this replay. Um, and know that the healing that we bring together with this, with this radio station, with the many psychics and healers that are on here, we're all bringing together collectively some positive and healing and all of those really great things that we're needing right now. So know that you can connect with us any time for this through any of us. So we really want that message to be strong. Okay, my first caller is Kelly in Sandyville, Ohio. Kelly, how are you? I'm fine, Tonya. Thank you. How are you? Really good. How are you coping in this climate at the moment? Well, I'm working, so it is still stressful. And yep. we just went through a tornado last night, so that made it a little more stressful today. Uh, we had a lot oh, of nice. damage in our area. So And what about you where you are? Absolutely stressful. I'm oh, I'm good. So so your home and everything is okay after that? Yes. Wow. I, I have absolute admiration for you all living in, in areas of that because over here we don't have an understanding of it because it just you, it doesn't happen here. And I can I can barely imagine what it would be like, you know, being at the mercy of, of weather and Mother Nature, you know, um, being so powerful. So my, my heart goes out to you because it's, yeah, that on top of everything else, um, that makes things quite stressful. Um, can I say just um, connecting with your energy? There's something about your you're actually here as a shining light for others. So it's like this you you've got a lot of inspiration around you, and that is what you give to others. So is what you're doing at the moment? Are you able to connect in with that? Yes. Yeah. So it's like I want to I want to congratulate you on that, and I want to say I've got. Two spirits for you. It's a male and a female, and I feel like one. Have we got dad in spirit? It's like they've come through together, but I feel like I want to go to dad. Yes, this is actually yeah, okay. the one-year anniversary of his passing. Okay, beautiful. Because it's like I feel like with the two of them in spirit, he would have normally stepped back, but it was like he had to come forward. It was almost like he was pushed forward to go, right, this is your time. So that makes sense that it's the anniversary. Um, it's like I want to say your dad's very proud of you and I felt I feel like he, he did always let you know that or that was part of his communication to you. He also shows me about being in awe of you and I feel like with what you're doing, many people look at you in awe or go, wow, check her out, look at what she's doing, look at the difference she's making and and. It, it, what he's showing me is there's a, such a specialness and uniqueness about you and, and I really want to push that forward to say honour that part of you and uh, because I feel like you're so humble you probably don't it's not something that you focus on but it's like they're bringing it forward to go tell her we have to we have to let her know how how much of a difference you make in others lives well, that's amazing thank you yeah, so you, you're, you're very special. And I want to say, it's like Dad's going, you're the chosen one. So where does that fit? I feel like he's showing me. You're the chosen one, yeah. I'm the middle child. Yeah. So but you had a great connection with Dad. It's like there was something that the two of you related. I feel like you guys had something in common that was separate to your siblings. Um. Just an understanding. Yeah. Did, did you used to go in the car a bit with him? Because I feel like he's showing me, and I feel like this is a memory what he's bringing up, is you and him in the car. Was it? Was there something that happened in the car or with you driving or something? Because I feel like there's a little bit of cheekiness around this, and I feel like it's a memory that he's showing me. My dad taught me to drive. Yep. My dad was a driving instructor. Yeah. <laughs> But there was a specific time when I was a child that my father and I spent a night in a car and uh, we watched the night lightning. We were in Florida and we watched the night lightning for hours. And I do remember that I was seven years old at the time. 
Yeah. And uh, that yeah. was very special. Yeah, yeah. And, and he, he just has that, he has that, that um, uh, connection with you, I feel like. There's just this whole appreciation for, and, and I feel like it's almost like you've expanded out on, so I feel like he had belief and faith, but you're, you've gone even further with it. So it's like he's acknowledging, um, you know, maybe he was a bit black and white and you've really embraced the grey, which was quite different for the family. And it's like now in spirit he understands it better and he's acknowledging that specifically for you. Well, that's amazing. Thank you. Yeah. No, it's, it's a gorgeous soul. And it's like um, he was very selfless as well, a lot like you, I have to say. Um, there is, well, he also showing me he, he wanted to stay around. He wished he could have stayed around longer, but it was like he couldn't do it anymore. So I feel like I don't know whether he wasn't well leading up to his passing or it's like he, he was quite strong and then all of a sudden it just was like, oh, I just can't do this anymore. Well, he was sick, but not terribly sick. And then it was very sudden. He had pain in his back through the day and it ended up that he had a heart attack in the evening. So, I mean, it wow. was sudden. He did have some yeah. illness, but not anything that would, you know, take his life at the moment. But, yeah, it yeah. was his yeah. heart that just gave out. Yeah. And so is it your mum up there in spirit with him? I'm just trying to, it's like she's got the bigger personality than him, I feel like I want to say. Well, my mo- my mother is still here. Yeah. But a female that would be with him would be my sister. Okay. All right. And is she more the personality, I want to say? Like, as in, because I feel like she was oh, the one Lord, that brought yes. him forward. Yeah. So it's like, let him have his time. And it's almost like he was the one that needed to, to bring that message through for you right at the moment. And I, I feel like he's the strong one. Um, your sister's a bit of a character and it's like, and I feel like there's a, there's a, a bit of, she's laughing going, I pushed him through forward and it's like, but mm-hmm. it's my turn now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let me connect him with her because she's funny. Um, I, I want to yeah. say with her, she's showing me, she's handing me, she's like, I, I'm here. I was here for a good time, not a long time. So I, I feel like it was something in her personality and the way that she lived life where, she it got cut short, but she did a lot in, within the time that she had here. Does that make sense? That's right. Yeah. So it's like, you know, I did, I did a lot. And it's almost like she's quite proud of herself with what she did. Now, was there something she did for a job that was quite alarming to the rest of the family? Because it's like she's showing me I did this really crazy thing. And I feel like it's something she did um. for work. No, I, I don't think so. I think the, well, maybe bartending. <laughs> the, I mean, you, you get the like whole gambit when like. you're a bartender. Because <laughs> it's like she had the personality of the family almost. I feel like, you know, I'm the more outgoing one and I would do, it, it's almost like I feel like with her personality, what she's showing me is I would do crazy things and people would, you know, like she'd do it for attention and a bit of a laugh. And I also feel like, I'm telling jokes and stirring people up. Well, that's true. That's very true. Yeah. So. She also wants me to take me to the daughter. So is that your daughter? I have a daughter, yes. Yeah, yeah. So she's, she's just acknowledging. Um, and would she have a, did she have a special closeness to your daughter? Because there's something around um, her bringing your daughter into this conversation for a reason. Okay. They they were close, yes. Yeah. I, I feel like she wants to put her hand up and say that your daughter's a bit more like her possibly than you. So it's like she's like quite proud of that. So I feel like there's an essence in your daughter that is, you know, you look at and go, oh, my God, it's like my sister <laughs> with some of the traits or things that she does. Yes, yeah, sometimes, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's like she's. She's proud of that. In spirit, it's like she acknowledges it is all seen. Now, the, she's also bringing me back to your daughter. We, we, there's something going on. Your daughter's having to make a decision at the moment. There's something around her 
moving forward, she's not sure about something. I feel like I'm at a crossroads. We're all at a bit of a crossroads, actually. Okay. Um, so is this around movement or or something around relocation? Because I feel like I'm... <sighs> I feel like what she's showing me there's two options. So it's like there's two choices around. So does this relate to you as well? Um, well I don't know about locating. Um, that could be her daughter. Okay, because it's like somebody's uh, that there's an option of two places to move to, and I want to go. I want to go closer to the ocean or closer to the coast. So it's something around connecting in with the coast. And there's something around for you. She's showing me cobwebs, but not as in cobwebs around the house, which I'm looking at my cobwebs now, but I'm weaving a web. So it's like that there's a relevance in that to you moving forward is I'm starting to um, weave my web. So I'm, I feel like that to me is like I'm spreading my wings a bit. I'm expanding out. I'm, I'm from, from where I've been, I'm, I'm moving outwards. But I feel like this I'll is around what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I feel okay. like she's showing me there's okay, and with the web, I feel like I've got a lot of help around me as well. So I'm connecting with like-minded souls, and there's something around a tree she's throwing at me too. There's something I don't know whether there's a tree planted or something in reference to a tree, but she's just pointing me to look at a tree that's over here. Do you see anything around the tree? Well, she's she's drawing me to the tree, and it's like there's something there's a there's a special meaning around that, but it's not just related to her. So there's others around that tree. If that makes sense. That could make sense in a totally different way. <laughs> it's like and, she's just giving but, me yeah. It's wrong. It's, it's very difficult because this would be a younger woman who is like a daughter to me, but she's passed and we have yep. not been able to locate her. And we believe oh, wow. that she is somewhere with trees, but we can't, we can't find her remains. And oh, we wow. really want to. Okay. I feel like, there's aspects of your sister that would help you with that. But, all right, what I'm being shown is as a thread. So this, you've been given a, a bit of information and it's like the rest of the picture hasn't been shown, but it's like oh, this thread is hanging around. There's something about digging a little bit deeper on a lead is what she's showing me. Do you think that maybe where we were looking the last time we were searching is where we need to go back because we didn't look hard enough? I feel like there's something being missed. Yes, I do. And um, okay. Kelly, send me a message on my Facebook page because not only myself, but there's a few of us that look into that kind of thing. And if we could help you, um, we'd be more than happy to try and help you with that. So, yeah, Australia Psychic Calgo, if you look me up, shoot me a message and I'll tune in um, when I've got more time than obviously on the radio is a little bit hard to get enough time. And let's try and get this, see if we can help in some way. Oh, well, that would be awesome. Thank you so much. I will send no, you a message. Pleasure. Yeah. My pleasure. Please do that. Yeah. All right, All right, Kelly, I've got to go on to my next caller. Yeah, send me a message and we'll delve it. We'll dig a bit deeper. That would be interesting. All right, thank you. Thank you. Take care. All right, Andrea in Clarkson, Michigan. Andrea, how are you going? Hi. Oh, good. How, how are, are you doing you? tonight? Good, good. Now, is there something specific you want me to focus on today? Um, just uh, just the future with finances. Yep. Don't know which yep. way to go. Okay. Yeah, okay. So you've got, there's a couple of options for you as well, huh? Let me see. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I have to say I'm a little bit excited about the option that you might be really questioning at the moment, but it's like that's what they're showing me is the way to go. The, the option where you're fulfilling, it's almost like I want to I say my heart's desire. It might look as if 
Um, there might be questions around you going, oh, I don't know whether I should do that, whether that's going to work, but it's like Spirit is showing me that that's the direction we need you in at the moment. It's like, I, I feel like out of your options, it's the one you probably question the most, but I want to say it, it's where you're meant to be. And it's like you've been pulled to do this. So this is around your sole purpose. It's around following what it is that makes your heart sing. And there's a real... Um, there's a real stepping up for you around this time. So it's like I want to say to you or what they're showing me is you've had this pullback, you've had a setback, and in this setback is some gold, but it's like we're digging a little bit deeper than just moving forward and doing what we feel we need to do. So I do want to say with this message, don't listen to everyone else's version of how you need to do it. This is really about you honouring what feels right for you. Oh, that's good. And I I've been trying, and there's so many changes yeah. lately. I didn't, I don't know what to do sometimes, and I just keep saying, go with my gut, you know? Yeah. You're very psychic, so you've already got that aspect to you, and it's like, let's um, let's embrace that, because it's almost like the spirit are coming through saying, we're showing you, so we need you to trust and believe in, in the guidance that you're being given. Everyone at that like everyone who's quite spiritual and and psychic and connected at the moment is really struggling with the whole earth energy thing. So we're all being we're all being asked to question things and possibly overthink a lot of things with moving forward. And that's really normal at the moment because a lot of people are doing the same. But I feel for you that with this path, with making a decision moving forward, I'm following my gut and there's something around moving as well. So I feel like for you, I'm moving on many levels here. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. So I, I'd be moving? Yeah, you're moving. I want to go, yeah, you're moving. Uh, well, I don't know if it's going to be for the better or not. Well, you got to stop doubting that because I feel like the spirit is saying, we've shown you where you need to be. Um, why aren't you doing it? And I know at the moment times have been uncertain. So I get that, but it's like they're wanting to push you and say, come on, it's time to do it now. And I want to say for you, you've yeah. been hanging off doing this. You've been hanging off for a while and they're like, come on, you've got one life to live. We want you to live it and it's time for you to, to live it and start to trust a bit more. And I, also what they're showing me is go back to, to life so far and look at how many times you've been diverted off a track you thought you were meant to be on and you've been diverted and felt a bit uncertain, but then you've had confirmation and gone, oh, wow, this has been the best decision ever. So it's like go back to history. There's times that that's happened for you. It's time to happen again. Are you there still? <laughs> I know that's a bit to digest, but it's like, look at history. You're good at manifesting things. You're good at being able to just be at the right place at the right time, I want to say with that. So you're being pulled in this direction for a reason. And it's like for you, this is a complete reset. This is a big thing for many people at the moment. You're being shown what doesn't serve you. So it's like, I have to let things go. And I do want to say to you, it is time to let things go that don't serve you anymore because there's up, there's... You've been doing it, but I'm digging deeper. So it's like they're showing me you need to keep doing that and honour what you've been shown because I feel like I'm letting go of people left, right and centre here. Does that relate to you at the moment? Yeah. 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 So you, you, you know who to let go of, yeah? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So Letting please. go hard. Yeah, it is, and and I certainly don't mean that lightheartedly because I know there's that that heartfelt connection. But for you, it's about I need to let go of the past to step into the future, and I'm not going to be. I just feel like for you, um, and I feel like I want to go to relationship or people close to you talking you into stuff, and then you go, oh, it's all going to be okay, and then it turns to crap, and you go, oh. You know, I intuitively I knew that, but I followed their lead. Yeah. It's time for you to follow your lead and not be, don't, it's like people around are doing the talk, so they're talking you into stuff, but they're not 
doing the actions. So always look for the actions. When they're not following up words with actions, that's a sign. See you later. Yeah. Yeah, I have two people like that around me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. So it's like, you know, you, we can love them. We can re- we can send them love and just say, you know what, I no longer have room for that in my life, so I'm going to release that. You can do that with affirmations and say, I no longer, I always attract people and things for my highest good, and that way the universe can decide how they disappear. <laughs> so a lot of the times that makes it so much easier when we connect in with what we do want um, it releases everything around us that we don't want. And we don't even have to say anything. The people will just disappear. The opportun- things around you will go. But it's like we want to bring in all this really, really good stuff that is, it's like it's your time now. It's, it really is your time to, to be able to be who you need to be and who you are, who you are ultimately. And yeah, regain your power. You make, get rid of the so, old and make room for the new. Yeah, but it, but don't forget, right. it's not you're not the, the, this you has always been inside you. Okay, we're a product of our external things, and we make changes sometimes to suit others and not ourselves. So you, we're going to bring through the true Andrea, who is fun loving, who is trusting of the universe, who is quite powerful. And I'm going to regain that power by sitting in like meditation. I'm going to honour things that I love to do. And when I'm saying that, I'm saying what you love to do. And we're going to honour the beautiful person you are moving forward and step into your greatness because you deserve it. It's your time. You've you've helped others along the way. You know, the spirit has shown me you've done so many great things for everyone else. It's time for you now to evolve into, and it's almost like come back to you is what they're showing me. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I need okay, to so you know what I'm talking better. about. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. And I really feel at the moment it's really important for us. We need to do that work. Let's get back on track. Let's honour who we are. And, you know, for you, you're really special. Start believing in you. And again, go back to your affirmations. I am loved. I am safe. All of those. Get get your Louise Hay. Um, you can heal your life on audio books and listen to it. You know, even before you go to bed of a night, put it on reprogram and get you happening yeah I have to wrap up now I'm running out of time thank you so much for connecting please shoot me a message Australia Psychic Cowgirl on Facebook woohoo